As you can see, if I open the Messenger application, it's going to ask me for a passcode. And even if I open Instagram, it's going to ask me for a passcode or a fingerprint as well. So in today's video, you'll know how to enable this feature on your Android phone. Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, in today's video, I'll show you how to enable a feature that allows you to lock any application on your Android phone for completely free. This is not a paid application, this is not a paid feature. You can easily do this by following the steps that you're seeing in this video. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either go to the link in the description box or just go to the Play Store and then search for an application that's called AppLock Pro. Now there's a lot of AppLock applications but the one i'm specifically using is applock pro so make sure to download this one so you can enable this feature on your android phone like i said you can either download it from the description box or just search for it on the play store it's completely free now we're going to wait for the application to start downloading once the download is finished i'm going to go ahead and show you the steps uh, very easily and slowly so you can catch up so once you're done with the download you need to set up a passcode and it should be the first thing that the application asks you when you open it for the first time so i'm going to go ahead and set up a passcode six times zeros i'm going to retype that passcode and then we're done for the first step after we're done for the first step we're going to give the application permission to start working so tap on permit and then tap on ok Make sure to find the application that you just downloaded, which is AppLock Pro. And once you find it, tap on it and then toggle that option on. Once you're done with that, go ahead and do the second step, which is enabling another permission, which is basically permit usage access. Toggle that on and you're done. For the last thing, it's going to ask you to work in the background. So go ahead and click on permit, tap on allow, and you should be good to go. So by now you're done with the permissions on your left. You can see all the applications that are unlocked. By the way, you can see that the lock icon is not blue. And on the right, if you tap on locked, you can see the applications that are locked by default. If you tap on anything there, it's going to either unlock it or lock it. So as you can see, messenger is not on my unlocked list. It's actually in the locked list. And if I tap on it, it's going to remove it from the locked list. And if I tap on search and then search for an application and lock it again, that's basically how it works. Now, before we go ahead and move forward, I'm going to show you how to enable fingerprint mode as well. Now, some people might prefer a fingerprint sensor instead of a passcode. And the way you do that is go to smart lock uh, customization. And then there you can tap on fingerprint, toggle that on and then go to systems and security. Once you're there, you can tap on fingerprint and then turn that feature on basically allowing the application to lock app for you using a fingerprint, not just a passcode. So it's going to ask for your fingerprint, make sure to tap on that and then tap on yes, and you should be good to go. So now you know how to enable fingerprint mode, you know how to actually lock or unlock applications, but I'm going to show you how to do that or and show you as well. So now the list of applications that I have, Messenger was included. So if I open Messenger, it's going to ask me for my fingerprint. The same thing for Instagram. So if I go ahead and close out of this or just try to reopen Messenger once more, you're going to see that the fingerprint sensor alert is shown. Unless I enter that, it's not going to allow me to open Messenger. The same thing works for Instagram. As you can see, if I go ahead and open Instagram, it's not going to allow me to do so because it's locked. And also Facebook because Facebook is on the locked permissions list as well so that's how you actually get to unlock and lock applications you can set up a security passcode or pass answer that way if you get locked out you can actually recover your password using that security feature that you want which is very handy uh, but as you can see the locked applications are on the right the unlocked ones are on the left anything that's on the left means that it's unlocked and anything that's on the right means that it's locked and you can easily search for applications to unlock them or lock them. So if I go on unlocked and then I don't see an application that's there, I can basically lock Facebook by tapping on it. And that means that Facebook is locked. So that's how easy the application allows you to uh, lock applications for you. So Instagram is locked. If I go ahead and allow my fingerprint to be on the screen, it's going to unlock it for me. And if I go ahead and go back to Facebook, as you can see, Facebook is also locked. So if I go ahead and open uh, Instagram one more time, you can see that Instagram is locked. 
and if I go ahead and open Facebook, you can see that Facebook will be one of the applications that are locked as well, just because it was on the locked list. You can search for applications for as much as you want. It doesn't really matter how many applications you lock. The applications is completely free. And as you can see, it's working perfectly fine. So if I want to remove the locked application, all I need to do is tap on the lock and then it goes to the unlocked list, which means that you can open it without any restrictions and vice versa with locked applications. So as you can see, if I go ahead and open Instagram again, it's going to open up because I removed it from the locked list and the same with Messenger because I also removed it from the locked list. That's it for today's video. I hope this feature is handy and helpful for you. If it is, make sure to like the video and also don't forget to subscribe. It's going to be very helpful for me. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.